Hello again. And in this video, we're in Janet's Foss, which is just near um, Malham in the North Yorkshire Dales. And uh, it's an amazing location for photography around here. But like most things, you, you really do pick your day when you do it. And we've come out today, the weather is massively changeable. So it's pouring down, we're getting glimpses of the sunshine. Um, but even when it's sunny, it's still raining. So it's, it's, it's a very difficult um, day to take photographs. As a result of that, your photography can go one of two ways. It can be really terrible and almost not worth taking your camera out of the bag. Or you can get some really stunning images because the weather is so changeable, you can get some really great clouds. Now today, at this moment in time, at Janet's Foss, we've got pretty much nothing in the sky. So we're just trying to focus on the waterfall itself. Now, because it's raining, I've got my rain hood on top of the camera. I don't know why, but these things always come in a camouflage um, colour and uh, very difficult to get them in anything other than camouflage. So this is keeping my camera dry today, which is really important. Although the camera's weather sealed, I actually don't want to get it that wet um, because weather sealing does actually fail from time to time. You know, it's also important, I always have my sun, my sun, uh, my sun visor on the front, my sun guard, whatever you want to call it. Not only protects the lens, but it stops a bit of rain going on the front of the lens as well. Now today, because we're so close to this waterfall, we've got a lot of water coming onto the front of the camera. So before I take every picture, I'm going to give the, the lens a quick wipe with a, with a cloth. So under here, we've got my Nikon D850. Um, it's just about to stop raining for a moment, um, but it will start raining again in a second. Um, and you know, what I'm trying to do is, is use this, this rock here in the foreground as a bit of foreground interest, and then trying to just really create a little bit of movement, not too much movement, but a little bit of movement in the waterfall so that we can see that the water's moving quite quickly. The challenge with today's weather is it, it's almost impossible to use filters because filters are just a big sheet of glass that sits on the front of the camera and they continually get wet and you, and you literally can't take photographs without raindrops getting on the filters. So no filters today, which is going to, going to make it a little bit more difficult because we're not going to be able to polarise this waterfall just to tone down the reflections a little bit or do anything with the sky. So it, it is as it is and we'll have to deal with that in, um, in, uh, in Lightroom afterwards. So the settings I've got on this, on this camera today, I'm shooting at ISO 64, so as low as my um, ISO will go, natively on this camera it goes down to 64. Um, I want a relatively long shutter speed of about half a second just to create a little bit of movement in that water. And then finally, that gives me um, an aperture setting of about f18, which is you know, it's quite, it's quite small to be fair. Look at that, the sun's just really shining through now. And as I look up there, I can see some, see some birds nests and all the birds playing around, which is, which is quite nice, but it's still raining, which is just amazing. Okay, so let's, let's take this photograph. I'm very precarious here on the edge of the water. I absolutely don't want to fall in. This will be the second camera that I've lost. There we go. So let's have a look at that image. Well, you just for yourself, whether it's, uh, whether it's a good image or not, um, I'm, I'm not overly impressed with it, but I, I, have, a, I have a commitment to, to everybody that I will share with you my good pictures and my bad pictures. And um, this one falls into the latter category. So, um, you know, it's worth taking the picture. You know, you've come all this way, you've, you've, you've challenged the conditions, you're here, you may as well take the shot and see what it's like. But um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this image, so this video, and uh, if you have, give us a thumbs up and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.